product for X-linked retinitis pigmentosa or XLRP is designed to directly assist the photoreceptors in recovering function. And so we're delivering our product subretinally uh, using a AEV gene, uh, gene caps, uh, capsid that has a very good transduction into photoreceptor cells and a photoreceptor specific promoter so that we're only going to be expressing the gene uh, and developing the protein in photoreceptors. We have released data from our phase one, two trial where we showed a 50% response rate. And by that, we mean we had 50% of the patients in the high dose cohorts respond to treatment and have improvements in visual sensitivity. And many of those patients also had improvements in visual acuity. So based on our end of phase two meeting with the FDA, we're proceeding with two different late stage trials. The Skyline trial, which is a very quick way for us to assess that we can repeat that results in another group of patients, as well as to use a mobile uh, navigation channel challenge, which is a maze test that will show the direct improvements in the patient's functional vision, as well as the improvements in visual sensitivity and visual acuity. So that's our Skyline trial. And in parallel to that, we have the VISTA trial, which is our phase two, three trial, uh, which is a larger group of patients that includes the controls and the testing as discussed with the FDA. And we'll have data from the Skyline trial in the first half of 2022 and data from the VISTA trial at the end of 2022.